In this video, I'm showing you how to make a Minecraft server. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it and it gets this video to more people. So I'm showing you the full process of making a Minecraft server um, and getting it all ready and getting your friends to join it. So without any further ado, let's go and get into this. Let's go and continue straight with this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is simply go and open up Chrome and we need to go and get the Minecraft server program. So what you want to do is simply search for Minecraft server, just like so, and then you want to come and make sure you come to the official Minecraft server download, which is on minecraft.net, click there, and then all you want to do is come down here, it says download Minecraft server 1.16.5. However, yours is going to say a different version because you may be watching this in the future, um, so it's going to say the latest version here, and the server is going to be running on 1.16.5. So click there, and it's going to go and start the download. It's pretty small, as you can see, and this is a Java file. So if you haven't got the option to open this, uh, you need to make sure you've got a program called Java. So simply Google Java and make sure you've got that installed. Anyways, as you can see here, we get this little message here. Do not worry, it's completely safe. Uh, it's literally made by Minecraft. So click keep. And now let's go and sort this out. So we've got the download here. And what I recommend doing is simply go and come into your desktop, right click and go to new and go to folder and simply name this folder server or something like that. As you can see, we've now got that there. You want to drag the server.jar into the folder, just like so. And now let's go and open up the server file. So we'll double click here. And as you can see, we've got server.jar. So now what we want to do is simply double click on server.jar and it's going to go and run it. So it'll take a minute. As you can see, my mouse is circling and it's creating these files. So you've simply got to wait for this to, to do this basically. And uh, then I'll be showing you the next step. So once you've got these three other new files, uh, so four files in total, you then want to come to the EULA, which is, I think you pronounce like ULA or something like that. Click on it and then right click on it and you will go and click edit. And then we've got this agreement here. So as you can see, it says by changing setting below to true, you are indicating your agreement to the EULA. So I've gone and read through this, but make sure you have. And then once you have, you want to go and simply change this to true, just like so, and then go and click on file and click save. Then once you've done that, you come click off there and you will go and simply click on server.jar again and it's going to go and add even more files. So it's going to run it again and we'll just have to wait. And then I've just had this pop up here. As you can see, I've got the Minecraft server program and then had this pop up here. So I'm going to go and click on private networks and click allow access. This is just um, Windows Defender uh, doing its thing. So click allow access and then we're going to be good to go. So as you can see, it's now preparing the spawn area. This will take a while depending on your computer speeds. Um, so we'll just wait for this. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it's currently stuck on 7%. Uh, so it may take a while, um, but yeah. Wait for this to load and then I'll catch up with you once it's gone and loaded. Okay guys, so I actually sped up quite a lot at the end as you can see, but it's now running. So you're probably wondering, what's the next steps? Okay, so I want to go over the basics. So if we come back into the server folder we created, here we've got a ton of stuff all about the server. So if you want to go into the property, simply come on server.properties, click on it, then right click and you can go and click edit. And you want to come down to where it says open with and then you need to click more apps and go and click on notepad, click OK. And then here are all the game settings. So as you can see, there is so much useful information here. You can change spawn protection, you can change the game mode, you can change pretty much all the key things. So for example, we could change the name of the server. So I'm just going to name this to my name. So tutorial Tucker, just like so, and then go and click file and save. And by the way, guys, as well, while running the server, you need to keep this Minecraft server program open as this is the program running as this is the program running the server. So just remember to keep it running. Anyways, as you can see back in here, you can literally change all the other settings as well. Um, so make sure you can go and remember that. So anyways, we can go and close this now. Uh, I've changed sort of the main things. And a quick note, guys, for some of the settings to be put in effect, you need to restart the server. So, for example, you need to close it here by pressing the red X uh, and then go and reopen it. After you've saved it in the server.properties file, you'll then need to go and restart it. So just remember that. And then you've got the whitelist as well. So if you want to use whitelist, and that's literally sort of the main things, uh, you can go and sort of test everything out. What I do recommend doing as well is you can OP yourself to make you the admin of the server. And I'll be showing that in just a minute. But let's go and launch Minecraft. So I'm going to double click on Minecraft and go and get into this. So make sure you're running the Minecraft version you're playing on the server as well. So for example, this server is 1.16.5. So I'm going to run this game on 1.16.5. 
So I'm going to go and click play and it's going to go and launch the game and then we can go and join the server. So we'll simply wait for this to load. So it's now loaded and let's get into this. So click on multiplayer and go and click on add server. Now for the server address for yourself and people within your Wi-Fi network, so like your internet router, all you need to do is enter local host. So this is only for people on your local server and then it's going to go and add it here and as you can see Minecraft server I'll double click there and it's now connecting to the server and we're literally joining right now and here we are this is the server now a quick note as well if we come off this and come back to our server as you can see Tucker joined the game which is me um, and that's literally it so we now click back to game and here we are we're in the game and we can go and break blocks as you can see and we can get the dirt and place it. So you're probably wondering, how do I go and make myself like an admin? So come back to the Minecraft server and simply go and type OP and then go and type your username. So mine is Tucker, so Tucker with two R's and underscore, and then go and press enter. As you can see, it made Tucker a server operator. So then I can go and do commands such as making myself go creative. So slash game mode, uh, creative. And boom, I'm now creative and I can go and you know, do anything in creative. So that's literally it, guys. And if you want other people to join, you need to give them your IP. But just remember, giving your IP out can be risky, as of course, that can be used against you, basically. So make sure you know the person very well you're giving the IP to, and they're not going to be a threat to knowing your IP. And a quick note, guys, every time you want to go and close the server and then reopen it, simply close the server.jar, the program we were just on, and then you go and double click it again to go and relaunch it, and then it's going to go and put the server back on online but anyways if you found this video useful please go down below and leave a like and subscribe and this works great as well just for getting people in your lo local area network to join and i'll catch you in the next one peace